Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I just woke up 6.30 this week. I'm getting back into a good routine, a good morning routine. My goal is to go on four walks and five walks. At least two of them being inclined, the rest can be outside. I did clear my garage a little bit more yesterday so I could use a treadmill. It's still like laughable. Um, I wanna wake up at 6.30 every day. Obviously my normal workouts, but I'm gonna do morning pages. Um, incline and then my or walk and then my workout so the big week we have our coastal cowgirl dinner party with the oak shoot tomorrow mason's coming on the podcast today my cousin uh, we do her wedding dress shopping this weekend so i don't really vlog that but my family's in town it's a big week um i'm about to go well i just changed immediately i find even though i love being in my pajamas in the morning that like if i want to be productive i have to immediately change into my workout clothes so this set is from Amazon, it's my only Amazon set. Um, well, I don't have one other one that I like, that I like and that I've kept and that I still have. So I'll link it below. Um, it's actually like really sculpting, ignore the box behind me. It's the best thing ever. So anyways, I'm gonna get my morning pages going and get on with my day. these eye patches on guys like they're so good i got them randomly on amazon i'll link them below um but i did like a treadmill workout and i still wore these and i haven't taken them off but i know the point is to not wear them for an hour but like here i am you know anyway so i'm way to my actual workout i watched oh my god i'm like not doing well this morning i watched the lucas and peyton breakup episode on one tree hill like the season four one this morning when I was on the treadmill and I'm like oh my god I literally want to sob like I just forgot like that's one of my favorite shows ever and I haven't like fully rewatched in a while and I just forgot all the like other details and it is actually just like making me sob when I watch One Tree Hill I feel so cozy I feel so at home I don't want to do anything besides like cuddle up and watch the show and I don't feel that way about many other shows besides Nashville and Friday Night Lights and then now I'm listening to Drama Queen's podcast, which is their rewatch podcast that I love so much. That's like my ultimate comfort listen. But anyways, I'm very sad. I'm I I mean I know they spoiler alert get back together. I feel like that's obvious if you guys haven't seen the show or you're planning to watch. But like I I am not doing well, and I have to go work out. And I really I'm trying to be positive about this workout, but it's quads today. And last night quads, I couldn't walk for five. <laughs> Home from the workout to my overnight oats. These are so good. I got these um, containers on Amazon. They're the perfect size. I'll link them below. It came with four. So good. All right, guys. It's later. I forgot to put my vlog camera inside, but I went home. I had my overnight oats that I made. I just made a coffee. My breadwinning housewife mug, of course, the same coffee. Um, and I'm running errands. I have a food tasting thing for the charity that I'm a part of for like an event. So I'm going to that in like an hour. Right now, I'm going to drop off some Amazon stuff, returns, and then I need to pick up a few little like food items. I will say the Amazon returns being at Whole Foods is the easiest, best thing ever. Like so easy and I needed to go to Whole Foods anyways. I also like got my mail today. There's just so much, so much going on. So, oh, and I moved my blowout to today. I was supposed to get it tomorrow. It's like a whole thing, no one cares. Anyways, we're getting things done. Productive week, guys. Very productive week, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Again, all I wanna be doing is be at home and watch One Tree Hill. Like, I have no interest in anything else. Right now, besides watching One Tree Hill, it's like I'm a junior in high school again, watching the show for the first time. <laughs>
I finished. Oh wait, I'll show you. It actually like looks pretty stunning, but it looks very healthy, okay? And that, it's cheese on there, by the way. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is. I'm giving Macy her meal. Thank you. Congrats. Guys, we're recording a podcast together. It's not a porno. <laughs> it's a podcast. I promise. Um, yeah, honestly, someone's gonna pay this mortgage, so <laughs> seriously. How excited are you for your first podcast appearance? I'm um, really excited. I'm really excited to get some things off my chest that I've really never talked about. <laughs> yeah, very important to just well, share your truth. I was gonna have people ask me questions, but I decided to keep this to our podcast. Mm, got it. But yeah, I, so like, do I look at you like, oh, great point, or like, yeah. Yeah, see, that's the hard part when you're recording on video. Like, you just act like the camera's not here. Technically, it's better to look in the camera, but I don't do that. And it's more of an organic conversation if we're just like, just forget the cameras are here. And you're like, act if the camera's not there. Like, <laughs> so. Good morning, everyone. I have my coffee. Macy's pulling in. We're going on a walk around White Rock. I woke up at 6.30. She's the one who made these plans and she's mad somehow. Um, I stayed up until like midnight watching on Tree Hill. I don't stay up late. So I was so stressed and like I am like such, I need to wake up in the morning and I get stressed when we sleep. Anyways, I woke up with a really good mood because Shelby Sacco, or in a really good mood, Shelby Sacco had me change my alarm to like a really happy song. So mine's like L-O-V-E by Nat King and I'm just in a fabulous mood and I woke up very quickly. But anyways, I have my eye patches on. Again, these are incredible and they stay on your face and they're just so good. So we'll have those wing and then my coffee. I'm just gonna walk with this, but we're at the lake. There she is. She's gonna murder me even though she literally made these plans. So we're a little late. We're a little behind schedule because she told me to make Hey girly. So I did squirrel, so I didn't oh great! Um, I told the vlog that you're gonna be mad at me, even though you made these plans. Well, I'm not mad. I just <laughs> wanted you to bail. Yeah, she said it was toxic that I wasn't bailing. Yeah, I just think she's a toxic. That's guy. another like, we should have put that in the glossary in the podcast of just like anytime there's a workout we don't want to do. It's like more specific than like just people using toxic. Yeah, yeah, that's being so. It's toxic. like Aaron is practicing toxic energy, our coach. Yeah. Very toxic. Oops. Wait, okay. my coffee's really gross. <laughs> I got Oh yeah, I'm not a Duncan girly. Well, okay, I am if it's like good, which is like once every nine years. And yeah, because when it's good, it's really good. Yeah, and I just had a feeling that it'd be really good today and literally. Hmm. This has gone from a very, very busy week to pretty much everything just got moved. It's storming, or it's going to be storming pretty bad, which I'm not looking forward to tonight when the dogs need to go to bed, but we were gonna be shooting the pink puff bag tonight, which I was so excited for, um, and that is getting moved because it's storming tonight and we're shooting outside. And then tomorrow, I was gonna have the Coastal Cowgirl dinner party but um, we realized that next week works better and I did start prepping, but the stuff that I prepped were like pickled onions and stuff yesterday. So that stuff lasts in the fridge, so it's fine. I just need to like put some stuff in the freezer and like figure that out. Um, but it's better because Dom was supposed to be here this week and she's actually coming next week. Next week she's gonna be so busy and then I leave for the Dear Media Summit and I go to Austin. Um, so it's really gonna be such a busy packed week, but I'll feel better because like Dom will be here. Something about like, having someone at my house even though even if, like it's not like i expect dom to do things at my house but like having someone here 
makes me like less stressed out somehow. I think it's just having Dom actually, and not other people. I take that back. Anyways, I went from having a very, very like lots going on week to this is chill. And instead, tomorrow night, Jess and I are gonna go to the movies. We have been wanting to see air, so I texted her and I was like, listen, I know what we need to do. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little PR unboxing. I have a lot of boxes from my townhouse. Um, if you are a new brand, please, or a brand, please stop sending things to my old address. I've tried to forward it and I have forwarded it, but um, it's just not really doing anything. Anyways, I got these. These are not PR, this is for a deal I'm doing with Macy's. But look at how cute these pink heels are. Like how amazing are these? So I love that. I also can't shoot that because of the weather. What do you do if you're like an influencer and you live in Seattle? You know? Um, anyways, athletic greens, always. I love athletic greens. And then I got the rare lip oils, which I'm so excited for. Um, Dom actually gave me some the ones, the colors that she doesn't wear, because the other great thing about our friendship is that we wear different lipstick colors. So we can always just trade off, but anyways, I really like them. The tinted lip oils. I showed these in a Coachella vlog. I'm really excited. Oh yeah, see that's sick. Dom should wear that color. Anyways, I like them a lot. I always like happy and hope and everything. So I'm excited for that. Um, this is just crazy. I got this and I was like, what? Like how unreal? Okay. The Angel Elixir. I love the Angel or like the Alien perfume or whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, it smells really good. Wow, love that. Okay, great. Okay, I'm moving back here. Sorry, guys. Um, I got a PR package from Kylie Cosmetics. I'm so excited about this. This is the Kylie Skin Face Moisturizer. I've actually heard like pretty good things about Kylie Skin. I'm always have to try. I like the packaging. I like simple packaging. Like I know Jeffree Star always gets like says like packaging so boring, blah blah blah. But, like I don't I like it to be like, minimal. Ignore her, please. Oh, blush. Okay, you know what? I know that I know her blushes are incredible. Pressed blush powder. <gasps> oh my god, a lip kit, Kylie Matt. Oh my god, we're back. Foaming face wash. Exciting. Okay, the Kylie lighter. I honestly love a lip kit. Oh, Kylie. It's like a liquid lip. Guess we'll see. Do you guys like unboxings? I feel like they're probably really boring if you watch. A sugar lip scrub. Ooh, okay. So the sugar lip scrub and a hydrating lip mask. Guys, I just got even more packages. Like so much. Okay, we'll get to that in a second, but I just got a pool delivered to my house. The Lux Unfiltered Lip Butter. I'll try it right now. I'm like so into Lux Unfiltered right now. I made a TikTok about their like body blur. It's so good. It's like such a must for the summertime. Oh wow. This stuff feels amazing. Like I like the Road Lip Balm, but like Summer Fridays will always be better. I actually think Lux Unfiltered might be better than Summer Fridays. Wow. That was amazing. The Kylie Bronze Palette. Um, everything from Kylie Cosmetics is available at Macy's, by the way. That's why I got that scent. Um, Billy Shaving Cream, DP Hue, Glossy Glaze. I'm excited. I'm like obsessed with Kate Davis right now. K A I T Davis. Um, she's married to a bull rider. Her son's like, they have like a whole thing. I love them. Anyways, she, I've been buying everything she recommends and she's like a part of this company with like a hair mask. So I bought that. I bought like other things too. Um, so I'm excited to try that out. My ritual subscription came in. I also have the Athena Club shaving cream. I guess I'm a member of both. My Curology skincare. And then more Waterboy, which I love Waterboy. I like take it with me everywhere. So I'm gonna put this away and also unbox all the other things. It's gonna be something else. Guys, okay, look at this new belt I got. I'm not like wearing it like this, but I was just so excited. I got it on Revolve. I've been really into just like fun statement belts like this. I've never really been super into belts. This was pricier. I just like couldn't find options at a lower price point, but I knew after like I've been wanting it for so long that I was gonna wear it so much. I am obsessed with this belt. Like it is just so cute. Like, oh my God. I cut my finger so bad. So I've just been sitting down for the past 
half hour, what did I get on my neck? Um, in pain, waiting for band-aids to arrive via DoorDash. So, it's painful, okay? Like, bad. Ugh, kinda like grosses me out too. Anyways, um, my mini dip, I finally was able to open this. It's a little like cabana pool, like outdoor adult, obviously outdoor like pool, like blow up pool, inflatable pool. So once I set this up, I'll show you guys probably like on the vlogs and in TikTok. I'm excited for that. Good morning. Um, so I didn't really vlog yesterday. It's actually gonna storm all day today or all afternoon. So we'll see how that goes with the dogs, but I am on my way to weightlifting. I woke up early and I didn't get my walk in yet. I need to do that on the incline. I actually woke up a little bit later than my goal for the week, but honestly, I feel like I talk about this in every vlog and it's annoying. So I'll say it for like two seconds. I don't know. Actually, I don't feel like I talk about this in every, I don't know. I just feel like right now I'm in this weird spiral of feeling very, being like very hard on myself and also feeling like weirdly disconnected from myself and from like everyone around me and almost like unfulfilled. Even though like I know when I'm in a normal headspace, I don't actually feel that way, but I don't know how to describe it. I've just been feeling really off. Like I don't really have like the motivation. Um, and I, I'm like a sudden over motivation person. I don't mean motivation to like get things done. I just like to literally do anything. Like, I don't know. I'm going through like a weird couple weeks where I just feel not myself. So anyways, I was really chill yesterday. Um, had one to hill on pretty much all day in the background and love that but i'm on my way to go work out today coco starts physical therapy so we'll see about that i have to get my extension fixed and then we're going to the movies tonight and i have like a bunch of stuff to do in between that cut my finger yesterday as you guys know and it's actually it hurts so bad and i'm like this is gonna be hopefully it's on this on the outside of my thumb so i'm like hopefully that doesn't hurt in weightlifting um but yeah it's gonna be a better day um and my family comes in town this weekend my cousin my aunt and uncle um so tomorrow night we're going to fort worth and we're going to the heather mcmahon show which i'm so excited for i love a comedy show and i don't go enough so i'm excited and my aunt loves heather mcmahon and so do i but she's kind of like who put me on her so it's gonna be a really good girls night and of course going to fort worth like what more can i possibly want all right guys it's pouring right now we're about to go to physical therapy for the first time, I cannot believe I'm taking my dog to physical therapy. But it's gonna be good, Coco. Also, her real name is Coconut. Tell me some slag, okay? She's named after the American Girl doll dog. Every time I say Coco, I'm like, yes, I am that girl with a white small dog named Coconut. But people just don't understand that her real name is Coconut. Her name, what did I say? I'm the white girl with the small white dog named Coco. People don't understand that her real name is Coconut, so it's much cooler than that. All right, guys, just had the best experience. If any of you guys happen to be in Dallas needing physical therapy for your dog, I went to Heal Vet Clinic on Lemon, and it was just, like, so good. I love them. They were so thorough, helpful, whatever. Coconut's going to physical therapy three times a week. There's no guarantee that she walks again, but in my head, she definitely works again. Um, and I feel good about it and they've had so many like clients or dogs, you know with the same thing It is storming outside. I'm getting my extensions fixed And Coco's coming to the hair salon with me and did not feel like hooking so I picked up Jake's on the way home But I have some like recipes that I want to make. Oh my god, Coco Anyways, I'm gonna recipe prep. Okay. Bye. Okay guys. This has been a low vibrational week all of my plans have gotten canceled. I was going to the movies tonight. I keep telling you guys things I'm going to do, and then I'm just home saying I didn't do them. Um, but something came up, so that's not happening. And even Monday, the recording, Macy and I decided we were going to re-record. So this week has, at night at least, kind of been a wash. And then during the day, I don't have anything to film because I'm, like, working at home. So, anyways, um, I do have another haul, and I don't like how many things I've shown in this vlog. Keep in mind that PR stuff from yesterday was a buildup of like a long time and it's not stuff that I ordered, but I did make a Sephora haul, purchase haul. What? I did make a Sephora haul or sale purchase. So this is my Sephora sale haul. Okay, finally, um, I'm also gonna go through like my makeup and see like what I want, what I don't want. I just used the Kylie Skin um, 
like foaming cleanser and it felt good I, I used i opened the moisturizer and like it like the applicator thing like broke off it like got sucked in with the cap so i like squeezed it out of the bottle and i liked it but obviously that's like not ideal anyways i'm gonna show you guys what i have okay um i have a, i i purchased all of this honestly when i was like drinking i was a little tipsy on the way home from um fort worth the other night it was like midnight and i put in an order so this it's not news to me like it was fine but um i got more than i probably would have normally okay i saw these makeup by mario things i'm really intrigued by makeup by mario and then what else am i into right now oh patrick ta that's like some stuff I wanted to try. So I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer and the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I saw and used these on a video. I like really have no idea what this is. Like how do we even apply these things? I watched him apply them. Okay, this doesn't even make sense. Um, and I was interested in them. I'm interested to see. We'll try it out. I'm always looking for like easy day-to-day -day stuff because I don't really wear makeup like day to day, but I would like to get ready every day because I feel like it's just good for you. I did get this brush because he was using this brush with these two things. Um, Patrick Ta, I got, what is this? She's bronze, so a Patrick Ta bronzer. Oh, so it's a cream bronzer with, or cream contour with bronzer. So I'm excited to try that out. I've heard amazing things about Patrick Shaw like all over TikTok. I got the one size, oh, Secure the Sweat Dry Till Dawn Primer. I need to try this. I also want Dawn to try this because she always talks about, that's like the, her, she hates when her face sweats. Um, it's really cute packaging too. But obviously for summers in Texas, this might be a must. I'll report back, I'll let you guys know. I got a one size setting powder. I like one size a lot. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Like, I know I like minimal stuff, but this feels like minimal enough, but still like cute. Um, update, my finger still really hurts. Anyways, I'm excited to try this. Maybe I'll try out a lot of these tomorrow. Um, Patrick Ta Clear Gel Formula, because I'm like all out of my Kosa's brow gel, and I don't know who I'm kidding. Let's just try this now, might as well. Oh yeah. This I really like. Yeah, love, love this. Patrick Ta for Face Dual Ending Sculpting Brush. Because I actually really don't remember all this stuff. Wait, I don't, these are like the same brush. I don't think I meant to do this. I really don't even think I knew I was getting these brushes. This is why you don't make Sephora orders when you're tipsy coming home from the bar. Um, well, whatever. I mean, you can never have too many brushes, I guess. Okay, the Rare Beauty. Effortless bronzer stick. I've been wanting this. Are we in focus? I have been needing a new bronzer stick and I've been wanting to try this out. I love Rare Beauty, so this should be exciting. And then, oh, this is not part of the haul. This is the Kylie bronze palette, they said. Might as well open it. I, I really am excited to try my new lip kit. I mean, tomorrow might be like full face new makeup. I am going to Heather McMahon tomorrow. My aunt's coming in town, so I'm excited. Um, and this weekend is my cousin's like wedding shopping dress shopping weekend. This is cute, but I kind of think I have it. I'm like almost positive that I have this. We'll see. Anyways, so it's gonna be a good family weekend, which is much needed right now because I'm in a funk and low vibrational, as you guys know. And honestly, it's not because things have gotten canceled. Honestly, I've like secretly wanted everything. Well, I actually have not secretly wanted everything to get canceled. But I'm like fine with things being canceled. It's like, mm, I, I love being home, you know? But like stuff is going on. So anyways, I'm gonna go through my makeup bag because I have way too much stuff in this makeup bag and I just need to get rid of stuff so I can fit the new stuff and feel organized and decluttered and whatever. You know what, I'm also gonna whiten my teeth. I like the Lumin, Lumino, I don't even know why I cannot pronounce this. I like this stuff, it's better for you. I did an entire podcast episode with the people behind it um, about how like bad, like normal toothpaste and stuff is for you. And it's like really tied to your gut health. Anyways, gonna do this, gonna organize, gonna put on a podcast and uh, get this show on the road.
morning guys. I am on my way to Pilates. I decided I was gonna do my, well actually, decided I was gonna do my walk later, but uh, it's raining out, so gotta figure that one out. Um, having like my earlier mornings back this week have definitely been good. It's a slow adjustment because I just feel like I've been off of like my like really good routine for so long. I'm on my way to Pilates Thursday morning. I always go to Pilates and my favorite podcast comes out and my podcast comes out. A new solo episode is out today. Anyways, um, I started Emily Henry's new book. I loved Beach Read. I really didn't like the other two books. Like I was just like so not into it. And now I'm reading Happy Place and I'm like 30% of the way in. I woke up early and I read it this morning. Something about waking up early. Like here's the thing. It's like you start, uh, there's, you know, you start your routine, no excuses, blah, 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 whatever. Obviously, I agree. Starting out a week where it's raining the entire week, <coughs> when your house is basically like the twilight house, when it rains, it's very gloomy, and like it's all windows, um, so it's like cute and cozy, so you want to like bundle up, you know? And it doesn't help that I've started rewatching Montreal. Anyways, excuses, excuses, I know. But I'm, I'm reading Happy Place by Emily Henry, and I do like it so far, and I saw... Some people like TikTok saying that it was like a really sad book. So I have like a guess on what happens. Like, I don't know. And I don't want to say it now because like what if you guys are reading it to spoil? I do have a guess. Okay. So we'll see. Anyways, today I have to wash my hair, which is like a whole thing. I have an appointment with an interior designer. Got a bunch of just like random work to do. I wanted to organize the house a little bit more. And then tonight, I'm going to Fort Worth because Heather McMahon has a show. My aunt gets in town today. And it's a family weekend. Tomorrow's gonna be more of a normal day. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday are like booked and busy. So, anyways, I hope you guys are liking this vlog. It's really been all over the week, all over the place. Supposed to be really productive, crazy. And then everything got canceled. But I'm still doing my routine, so it still is productive, you know? I'm back home, I just showered. I'm trying to get really in to hair care. I ordered a Glimmer hair mask because I'm obsessed with Kate Davis, as I said right now. And I think she has like something to do with the company. I don't know if she always did, but she like swears by the hair mask. And then my friend McGuire posted it the other day too and said it was amazing and it was already on the way. So anyways, not here today, but I'm excited. I just tried a bunch of other stuff. I also ordered like the microfiber towels. Um, supposedly they're better for your hair. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna make like a second breakfast because I already have my overnight oats um, and get you know what actually I'm gonna organize the front area at first and then like figure out my life But I do have a call at noon with an interior designer Sierra who's done like pretty much all of my friends I'll link her Instagram below. She does it like virtually so that's what we're doing today and going through like my front area which I've decided will be the podcast area so basically I want wallpaper everywhere and I want like a nice seating area here that will be good for recording and then I can put all my recording stuff in the closet over there and then when I'm not recording just have it as like a nice entryway. I am worried that I'm gonna like walk in and it's gonna be like work work you know but I feel like it's gonna be fine you know. I also need to move that back to the hallway move some of this stuff. I don't even know where to put this stuff because it's gonna go in the backyard. But I did decide to grow up and get a printer. Very big life update. And here we are. I, this is just always cluttered because I just have like random stuff that I like don't know where to put it yet. All right guys, I gave myself a little blowout. I feel like my hair actually looks good. I like it. I also did my makeup and I used that like sweat proof primer. I don't know why I used it today because it's not even hot. I was just gonna try it and I don't, I feel like it made my skin look a little bit dry but I feel like in the summer it would be perfect and I think it really does the job. It's just like not warm enough yet. But anyways, I need to go measure my front area because I'm like really impressed. I'm not really good at doing my hair um, and I just feel good about it. But anyways, I need to go measure my front area to send it to Sierra um, and then figure out my life from there. I have two hours until I need to leave. I also got a package from Princess Polly and I'm apologizing that there will be another haul in this vlog because this is like so like materialistic, like consumer, like too much. It just all happened in one week. So I'm so sorry. Anyways, I'm really excited now because we're going to Fort Worth. I'm kind of getting out of my funk a little bit, but like we'll see how long that lasts. You know, sometimes you just have to, you have to cancel yourself. You have to give it up, you know? We tried this week, we really did.
doing a haul again I'm embarrassed to admit this but I got these shorts on Abercrombie online I'm always looking for like shorts that are like tight around my waist loose around my thighs and that's just like kind of hard for me to find but the thing about these is that these are so long and like yes they do fit I got them in a size 29 and I think they are curve love I'm not sure I like them but they're like a little bit long so either I get them hemmed but they're still not like that loose but then part of me is like I wonder if with like a heel or something They'd be cute and they're like nice to wear out to like nicer places because they're not super short. I don't love super short shorts anyways. Oh wait, it does look better with a heel. I don't know, I'm sure you guys are probably going to hate them, but I kind of actually like it. Like think about these shorts, crop top, blazer, heel for dinner. You know what I mean? Like I'm into that. Um, I just have like thicker thighs and calves, so it's like kind of hard with this. But anyways... I'm into them. And then I got another wash, so I'll try those on for you guys as well. Again, I'll link them. It's just so hard. I trust Abercrombie Curve Love. I've heard of Goldie is really good too. So maybe I'll try some of their shorts. But I honestly just like like these better. This, like the shorts and like a tank top. I'm in I'm into this look actually. Okay, so I definitely do need like a smaller size of this belt, but I do like the shorts. I've decided I don't want to resend this. Um, belt back just because I want to wear it this weekend and I've been looking forward to it Part of me is like what if I just like cut holes in it like it's an expensive belt But whatever but then is it weird if this is like all the way over there like does it really I don't know I don't know, but it definitely needs to be tighter because also I'm like holding up shorts <laughs> I've definitely got to figure that out. I feel like I should just return but I don't even know where my return label is for this So I don't even think I have it still I don't know what to do, but I'm like obsessed with this belt. Like this will be like one of my best purchases this entire year. I can already tell. Anyway, it's gonna do a little haul. Princess Polly order. This is what I'm planning on wearing tonight if I like it on. It's like so almost like tacky looking that it's cute, you know, and it's this matching top. Like how adorable. Um, there was something that Kate Davis again was wearing. That was from House of CB that I went to go, I wanted to buy it, but it was like $300. And I was like, mm, maybe not. So, anyways, this is like a cheaper version. Still really cute. I'm gonna like wear it with cowboy boots, you guys will see. Before I leave, I got this. I don't really have like cute like just tops for day-to-day -day wear. So I got this white top that has a little like tie around it. So easy, simple, basic. This pink like corset number that I thought was fun. Even though like I'm trying to be look more like Sophia Richie, timeless, whatever, and less like trendy. But it's also like summer, so you know, whatever. This little pink tank top that I feel like I will get like a ton of use out of. This pink top that's like so cropped that I don't know how I feel about it. And I have a one, like one that's kind of similar like this from Skims, but we'll see. I mean, whatever. I got this bodysuit and I don't like it. I don't know why I ordered this. This is like so not me, like literally at all, but maybe it'll surprise me. You know, but it's just like so not me. I don't know why I did that. Um, I thought this was like fun and cute. This little like pink bow number, either with denim or with like a skirt or whatever. I thought I liked that one a lot. And then I like this too, but it looks like a little bit cheap, but and honestly big. Um, but again, everyday like tops. I really just need to like, I don't know. I got these bows because I don't know why I was like, I'm kind of into them. And then I got this skirt, which was definitely supposed to be brown, and it was advertised as brown, but it looks green. Like, it definitely looks more green. On camera, I feel like it looks more brown. It's like a brownish green, you know? But I like this skirt a lot. It's kind of like a Love Shack fancy moment, but like one-tenth of the price. So, anyways, let's try my outfit for tonight, and we will see how this goes. Y'all, I love this outfit. So, it's a set I just showed you guys from Princess Polly, my Annie Decova boots, best boots ever, Chanel bag. It's like perfectly tacky, but cute, you know? I just think it's so fun. It's also like such a fun thing to wear to Fort Worth. I love this outfit. So, anyways, I'm gonna go and I'll just get some clips from tonight. Um, I kind of feel like I'm coming out of my funk, but like, am I coming out of my funk or am I just going to Fort Worth? You know what I mean? 
I don't know. By the way, new solo podcast episode is up and the video is up as well on the I Love You So Much YouTube channel. Go check it out. I'm very excited for when I have like my studio injury weight done here because it's going to be so good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. I have been, like my sleep schedule has been so off all week. I also got home after bragging about how my dog fits. Is such an angel and has never done anything bad in his life. And he got into my flowers. So... We're kind of fighting right now, but I just need some coffee. I'm about to head off to weightlifting. It's literally the exact same thing every single day. Wake up, work out, basically. Um, today, I might actually do two workouts. My friend invited me to a soul cycle class this evening for her brand. I think I'm out of two straws. Uh, so, if that works out, then I will be going to soul cycle tonight. But I've actually been like wanting to do a spin class all week. So it like works out so well. Um, I got invited to an early screening of Guardians of the Galaxy and that's my brother's like favorite Marvel movie. So I'm going to that this evening, just running some errands, getting some work done. It's a very chill errands, like whatever done. I should also probably like tan, at least my face, but whatever. My house is getting clean today, which is like the best thing ever. And I also would love to finish the Emily Henry book. I am realizing this week because I think I've just been so on the go like non-stop, especially since moving, but just like whatever, like traveling, leaving, whatever. Um, and I think because everything got canceled this week and it was like a lot more chill, I wish I would have known that before so I could have had the headspace to be like, I'm gonna be in a chill mindset. But like, it's okay if weeks are just like this. You know what I mean? Um, it's fine. In fact, I would prefer it actually. So anyways, if you guys have any recs also, cause like my house, it's all lighting from above. So it's like, so like, it, like lights my face poorly. You have like good recs for something I could do without carrying a ring light around. I don't even like the look of a ring light. Please let your girl know. But anyways, we are off. Oh, oh, by the way, regarding my funk last night, I don't know how much of it was a funk versus I just need to go to Fort Worth and get a blowout. You know what I mean? No, it's definitely a funk. And I think it definitely helped me. And I feel a lot better. But I'm gonna go work out now so I can stop talking. Just stop bothering all of you. Made lunch, forgot to film before I ate it. Also always amazing. That's not no, but for whatever reason, it, I keep only taking where if you start small and you say, oh, I want to do these three things in my morning routine and you get it down, you realize that you're not forcing yourself. It's not something that you have to do. It's something that you get to do and something you look forward to. And then it's easier to then go, okay, I want to wake up just a little bit earlier to add in this. And you like it. It's like, it really is. It's more of who you are than who you're forcing yourself 